Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you uh, how to express obligation in uh, Turkish language and how to understand when there are some rules or necessities uh, when a Turkish person is talking to you. So you're going to learn about must, have to, and don't have to. The modal verbs that we have in um, English are going to be used as follows. But um, before we go through the lesson, um, I'm going to ask you to like the video to support. And because you need these videos and I need your like. So, <laughs> and do not forget to take a notebook, take notes. Because uh, this is, uh, this uh, video is going to be very useful for you, and you need to practice, and practice makes perfect. Let's go through the lesson. Okay. We have the uh, obligation verb, gerekmek. Uh, and that means the necessity, like having the situation of a necessity. So in prison continues, as you see, um, I gave some examples, like get a cure. That can be used as an equivalent for must, should, and have to. Get a cure do for simple past, then actually past continues, get a cure do, and it is used for past, no problem. You can use it as an equivalent for had to, and get a kejek for future, okay? So I didn't bring all the tenses here. I just gave some uh, examples. So you will have gerekmish or um, like um, what else? Gerekir or some other uh, conjugations of different tenses. But uh, here I just gave three examples. If you need some help about verb conjugation, you can go to some of the, my previous videos about uh, some specific verbs that I have the conjugations and I've uh, just had them in all tenses. So you need to go back to those videos to um, improve yourself in that case. Okay, so if I am going to use the negative form of this, so this is going to be an equivalent for not having a necessity, not having an obligation. So in gerekiyor, negative form, I'm going to have, okay, gerekecek means we'll have to, I just forgot it, sorry. Gerekiyor is going to be gerekmiyor. And that is don't have to, something doesn't have to. Gerekiyordu is going to be gerekmiyordu in its negative form and it's an equivalent for didn't have to. In future tense, gerekmeyecek is going to be an equivalent for won't have to. Okay. Um, let's go to some examples of some very common verbs uh, to make it more understandable for you. And you can use uh, the same force for any kind of verb. Okay. Yemek means to eat, to eat some food. Benim or ban, so we have ban or benim, yemem gerekiyor. Okay? You can omit this part as well. You don't have to uh, bring ban or benim because in this part, yemem, 
you already mentioned uh, that this subject is going to be the first singular subject. Okay, so yemam gerekiyor. It means I must eat. Senin or san, san, senin. Yeman gerekiyor. Still, you can omit this part. You don't need it necessarily. Yeman gerekiyor. Means you must eat. O or onun yemesi gerekiyor. Means she must eat or he must eat, it must eat. Biz or bizim. Yememiz gerekiyor. Yememiz gerekiyor. Means we must eat. Siz or sizin. Yemeniz gerekiyor. Yemeniz gerekiyor. Means you must eat in plural form. When your address is a plural group of people. Onlar, onların yemeleri gerekiyor. Yemeleri gerekiyor means they must eat. So yemem gerekiyor, yemen gerekiyor, yemesi gerekiyor, yememiz gerekiyor, yemeniz gerekiyor, yemeleri gerekiyor. Okay, you need to um, have the same structure with other verbs. So that would uh, help you in uh, conjugating this uh, obligation verb uh, for all the verbs whenever you need. Okay, gelmek means to come. Benim or ben, ben benim, gelmem gerekmiyor. In this part I have mentioned in negative form. Um, so, gelmem gerekmiyor. Means I don't have to come. Gelmem gerekmiyor. I don't have to come. Sen or senin gelmen gerekmiyor. You don't have to come. O or onun gelmesi gerekmiyor. She doesn't have to come. Biz gelmemiz gerekmiyor. We don't have to come. Gelmemiz gerekmiyor. Siz or sizin gelmeniz gerekmiyor. Gelmeniz gerekmiyor. Means you don't have to come. Onlar or onların gelmeleri gerekmiyor. Or just gelmeleri gerekmiyor means they don't have to come. So we had the negative form of this verb uh, for um, expressing don't have to. Okay, başlamak. Başlamak means to start. And in this verb, we have the thick sounds. So the suffixes are going to have a bit of a change. Okay, ben or benim başlamam gerekiyordu. This time I'm going to have it in past form. Ben başlamam gerekiyordu means I had to start. Uh, in the previous page we had mim, here we have mom because we have the thick sounds here. In the previous verbs, in the two previous verbs, we had the thin sounds. Um, followed by a suffix which um, has the thin sound. So here we are going to have the thick sounds. Başlamam gerekiyordu. I had to start. Sen or senin başlaman gerekiyordu. Başlaman gerekiyordu means you had to start. O or onun Başlaması gerekiyordu. Başlaması gerekiyordu. Means she had to start. Biz or bizim başlamamız gerekiyordu. Başlamamız gerekiyordu. Means we had to start. 
Siz or sizin başlamanız gerekiyordu. Başlamanız gerekiyordu. That means you had to start. Onlar or onların başlamaları gerekiyordu. Başlamaları gerekiyordu. They had to start. Okay. So I just read it once more. Başlamam gerekiyordu. Başlamam mı gerekiyordu? Başlaması gerekiyordu. Başlamamız gerekiyordu. Başlamanız gerekiyordu. Başlamaları gerekiyordu. Okay. Now we're going to have another verb. But in negative form in past tense. Kullanmak means to use. Ben or benim kullanmam gerekmiyordu. Kullanmam gerekmiyordu. Means I didn't have to use. Sen or senin kullanman gerekmiyordu. Means you didn't have to use. O or onun kullanması gerekmiyordu. That is, she didn't have to use. Biz or bizim kullanmamız gerekmiyordu. That means we didn't have to use. Siz or sizin kullanmanız gerekmiyordu. Means you didn't have to use. Onlar or onların kullanmaları gerekmiyordu. Means they didn't have to use. Okay, now let's go to have some other verbs for future tense. Düşünmek means to think. Düşünmek. Ben or benim düşünmem gerekecek. I will have to think. Düşünmem gerekecek. Sen or senin düşünmen gerekecek. You will have to think. Düşünmen gerekecek. You will have to think. O or onun düşünmesi gerekecek. She will have to think. Or decide sometimes. Like düşünmek means to think to decide. Biz or bizim düşünmemiz gerekecek. Means we will have to think. Siz o sizin düşünmeniz gerekecek. Means you will have to think to decide. Onlar or onların düşünmeleri gerekecek. That means they will have to think. Okay. Maybe uh, semantically I didn't choose um, a very, I mean, a, a I mean, a verb that could um, just give you a good meaning uh, in this structure. I just wanted to have a word that has the U sound here. That's why I chose this verb. In case of meaning, I feel that there's a bit of a strange kind of um, confliction. But <clears throat> anyway, beklemek means to wait. Ben or benim beklemem gerekmeyecek. I won't have to wait. Sen or senin beklemen gerekmeyecek. You won't have to wait. O or onun beklemesi gerekmeyecek. Means she won't have to wait. Biz or bizim beklememiz gerekmeyecek means we don't have to we won't have to wait. Siz or sizin beklemeniz gerekmeyecek. That means you won't have to wait. Onlar or onların beklemeleri gerekmeyecek. Which means they won't have to wait. Dear students, Please do not hesitate to ask any questions regarding uh, this topic. You can make sentences and just ask me if it is correct or if you have heard um, 
sentence structure or anything similar to this, you can ask me and I will help you. So, um, as I said, uh, please leave comments and ask any questions that you need. Do not forget to like the video and please, um, you can contact me on a uh, Facebook page. If you go through uh, the channel, if you click on my uh, name, uh, you will go through the page of the channel. I have the link of my Facebook account on the, the, um, on the, under the picture. So you can contact me anytime you want, but for your questions, uh, you can just leave some comments. You can also uh, ask for some private lessons. I already have some. And um, for private lessons, please contact me on Facebook. So, um, good luck and see you on the next video. Have a nice day.